Hi, my name is Marvel, and my parents named me that because from the day I was born, they thought I was special and they worshipped me. But this is the story of how everything changed in the blink of an eye. Before I continue, please click like and subscribe because My Story Animated will give $1,000 to one lucky person who subscribes in the next 7 days. Tell your friends, your sister, brother, and mom to subscribe now! Mom never got tired of telling everyone how Santa Claus brought her the world's best present one Christmas. Me. The doctors had told her that after my sister Clara, she couldn't have more children. So when I turned up five years later, everyone thought it was a miracle. My favorite granddaughter. Don't raise her like that other devil child of yours. Where is that brat? Just then, Grandma screamed loudly as Clara bit her on the leg and ran away. Clara hated that she wasn't the center of my parents' universe anymore. But it wasn't my fault she was a brat, and everyone thought I was an angel. Mom and Dad adored me, and I had more toys and books than I could count. And every night, they'd act out my favorite bedtime stories together. But Clara was always ruining it. Red Riding Hood is as stupid as Marvel. She thought a wolf was her grandma. Why are you here again? You're too old for these stories. The next day, I woke up to find my storybooks torn to pieces. When I tucked my first tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy, I was so happy to see a pink box the next morning. I opened it and stared in horror. Clara had cut my face out of all the family pictures and gifted my heads to me. On my eighth birthday, I woke up super excited for the grand party my parents had arranged. But seconds later, I was screaming at my reflection. My parents came running and stared at my terrible haircut in horror, while Clara was laughing her head off. Clara, are you completely crazy? <laughs> what did I ever do to you, witch? You were born. That's what you did. Clara was grounded and I was rushed off to a salon to fix the damage. She wasn't allowed to attend my party and it was perfect. And my new haircut was even more perfect, which drove Clara crazy. Eventually, I stopped caring that Clara hated me. In fact, I started taking revenge. Once when I was in seventh grade, I knew she'd flunk every subject and was hiding her report card from my parents. So I went through her bag and stole it. The next morning, I smiled in bed while I heard Mom's screams. Why can't you be more like Marvel? You've turned out to be such a disappointment, Clara. I knew I was going to pay for it, but it was totally worth it. Things only got worse, of course. One day, when my parents weren't home, I walked into my room to find it completely trashed. The minute Mom saw it, she announced that she would be sending Clara to boarding school. It's not safe for Marvel to be around you, Clara. You're getting completely out of hand. What? You're going to send me away because of her? I hate you, Mom. I hate you, Marvel. I hate everyone. Next day, when we got back from school, Mom wasn't home. To our shock, it turned out that Mom had fallen and hit her head. And now she was in a coma. A week later, I was sleeping on a chair in her room when I heard her say, C Clara? Where's Clara? Clara instantly flew to her side and hugged her. Mom, I'm right here. I'm so sorry. Is that really you? How long have I been sleeping? How many years? I took her other hand and smiled. Thank God you're awake, Mom. She turned to look at me blankly. Then suddenly, she drew her hand away. Who is this child, Frank? It's Marvel, honey. Is she lost? And why is she calling me mom? A slow grin spread over Clara's face as Dad quickly called the doctor. After a series of questions and tests, the doctor concluded that mom didn't remember anything from the past 13 years. So she basically didn't remember having me. Even when Dad reminded her, she just looked confused. But it's not possible. The doctors told me I couldn't have children after Clara. My precious baby, who made me a mama. I was devastated. How had I just gone from being mommy's little miracle to someone she didn't even remember? Back at home, I ran to her room one day with photo albums to jog her memory. But as soon as I opened them, I remembered Clara had cut me out of all the pictures years ago. You don't remember this, Mom, but Marvel cut out her face from all the photos because she said she hated being a part of this family. Marvel? What a strange child you are. This witch was constantly manipulating mom. I'd catch her by mom's side all the time, and it made me very uneasy. A few days later, mom had made spaghetti and meatballs, which were my favorite. But before I could see anything, Clara jumped in. Oh, mom, you remembered my favorite food. Didn't you become a vegetarian two years ago? What are you talking about, dad? Would I do this if I was a vegetarian? And with that, she started gulping down meatballs. Marvel's always hated your cooking, Mom. She always said even the dog didn't deserve to eat such bad food. Clara, that's enough. Stop making up lies. 
Marvel's such a sweet child. She'd never say that. Then, to my shock, Mom turned to Dad angrily. Don't talk to our baby like that. And why are you defending her so much? Do you want to tell me the truth about this girl? What are you talking about? I know your little secret. And with that, Mom flung her napkin on the table and walked off. What was she talking about? Did she think I wasn't her own kid? A few weeks later, while Dad was away on business, Clara and Mom made plans for a girl's day out. Oh, can I come too, please? Mom looked at me like I was some gross insect. And who's going to clean the mess you made last night in the kitchen? What? I never went to the kitchen last night. Stop lying, Marvel. It wasn't me or Clara. And I don't think ghosts bake chocolate chip cookies. Did you eat them all? I never made any, Mom. Greedy and a liar. You're just like your mother. You're my mother, Mom. There's no way I would give birth to someone like you. But since you're living here, I want to make you useful. I want the kitchen spotless by the time we get back. It broke my heart to see them drive away. When they finally came back in the evening, they spent hours trying on the outfits they'd bought. Not a single one for me. I cried myself to sleep that night. A few hours later, I woke up startled because I'd heard a squeaky sound. But when I didn't hear it again, I turned around to go back to sleep. And then I saw something that made my blood run cold. <coughs> Sitting on a stool in a corner was Mom holding Mr. Teddy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I startle you? Mom, why are you sitting there in the dark? I was just watching you sleep. B but why? I was trying to see if you look like Amelia. Who's Amelia? Her strange, twisted smile sent chills down my spine. Here, I fixed your teddy bear. Clara said I made it for you when you were little, but you ripped out an arm one day in a fit of rage. What? Mom, that's not true! But before I could finish, she was gone. Did she think I was the daughter of someone called Amelia? And who was Amelia? A few nights later, I heard some clattering noise downstairs. I quietly crept out of bed and walked towards the light in the kitchen. To my surprise, it was Mom baking enough chocolate chip cookies to feed an army. Mom, what are you doing? She turned to me sharply and stared at me with blank eyes for a moment. She looked possessed. And then without a word, she turned back to mixing chocolate dough again. She's sleepwalking. I turned around to see Clara standing behind me, eating a cookie. It's so much fun when she sleepwalks. I can get her to do whatever I want. You're a monster, Clara. You better go get your beauty sleep, Marvel. There will be plenty of dishes for you in the morning. I couldn't wait for Dad to come back and tell him how horribly Mom and Clara had been treating me. As soon as he entered the door and hugged me, I turned to see Mom standing behind with her arms crossed. We need to talk. Minutes later, I could hear shouting from their bedroom. I crept closer to their door to hear what they were arguing about. It's not what you think. Just let me explain. How could you do this to me, Frank? Even after everything you know about my history with Amelia, I want you to get out. Right now. You've got it all wrong. Get out now. Dad burst out of the bedroom, and when he spotted me, he kissed me on the head. I'll come back in a day or two when she's calmer. And with that, he was gone again. What was going on? The next morning when I went downstairs, Mom was making pancakes. And she smiled at me. I'm making your favorite breakfast. You remember that I love pancakes? I think some things are coming back to me. I felt so happy. Mom sat down next to me. I don't really remember you, Marvel. But I'm sure I loved you very much. I'd like to get to know you again. How about you and I take a little trip? I jumped up and hugged her. Then quickly skipped off to get ready. Just as I was walking out of the house, Clara called out. Marvel! Wait! Take him with you! And with that, she ran to me to give me my raggedy teddy bear. Why? I'm not going away forever. Oh, you never know. Can't hurt to keep him. Goodbye, Marvel. This girl was so weird. I took it and ran off to the car. We sang along to songs on the radio, and it felt just like old times. We'd been driving for three hours and had entered a town when I asked Mom where we were going. Oh, you'll see. A few minutes later, she drove up to a house in the middle of nowhere and took out a crumpled letter from her pocket. Yep, this is the address. As I hopped out of the car, Mom took out a bag from the back and Mr. Teddy. Are we staying here overnight? Not we. Just you. To my horror, she dumped the stuff on the ground and jumped back in the car. What are you doing, Mom? She threw the crumpled letter at me. For the last time, I'm not your mom. I've brought you to your real mom's place. So go live with her and stay away from me and my family. And with that, Mom drove away. I stood frozen in shock. Finally, I managed to open up the letter. Dear Frank, we have to keep this a secret for now. We'll tell her everything when I'm there. Can't wait to see you. Love, Amelia. Nothing was making sense to me. 
and whoever this Amelia was didn't live here anymore because the house looked abandoned. I didn't even have a cell phone. I decided to walk to the town center to call Dad. But just then, dark clouds rolled in and it started raining like crazy. I sat huddled on the porch, feeling really scared. But just then, I saw a car drive up to the house, and it was Dad. He ran to me and hugged me tight. How did you know I was here? I went back home to try talking to your mom again, and I saw the two of you leaving, so I followed. Dad, who is Amelia? Dad explained on the drive back home that Mom and her sister, Amelia, had never gotten along growing up. And the last straw was when she stole Mom's college boyfriend. Mom had cut off all ties with her, but around the time I was born, Amelia had gotten in touch with Dad because she wanted to make amends. So that's what the letter was about? Yeah. And the two did patch things up. But your mother just doesn't remember. Why have I never met my aunt? She lives in another country now. And sadly, those two are like you and Clara. They still don't like each other very much. Dad decided that he and I would stay in a motel for a while. We stayed there for about three months. I loved my dad, but I really missed my mom. Dad told me that mom had started going to therapy. Sometimes, I used to go to her sessions and pretend to be a visitor. Once, she saw me there and looked really confused. You, you look like someone I know. And she approached. I was afraid she would hurt me, and Dad stood between us to protect me. Just then, Clara dragged her away. Come on, Mom. We have a party to attend. Another five months had passed, and nothing changed. Until one morning, Dad barged into the room and shook me awake. Marvel, wake up. She's asking about you. I couldn't believe my ears. She remembered me? When we reached home, Mom came running outside and she burst into tears as she hugged me. Mom, do you remember me? <sighs> no, I don't. I'm sorry. I just remember that I had a second lovely child. And I can just feel in my heart that you're mine. I remember having emotions for you and touching you. But my eyes and my brain, they don't remember you. <laughs> I don't remember much about what you're like, Marvel. It's like my memories with you have faded. So, Mom really didn't remember me. I felt like I was about to cry. But then I said, Mom, that really breaks my heart. But I guess it's okay for now. At least you remember being my mom. You can get to know me all over again. As Mom and I hugged and cried, and Dad joined us too, we heard a voice behind us. So, what now? You'll be sending me to boarding school? It was nice to have a mom who cared about me for a while. We all turned around to see Clara, and she looked so disappointed that I felt almost sorry for her. Mom pulled her into a hug. I love you both very much. I'm so sorry I made you feel like I didn't. Long story short, mom is back to normal, mostly, and she loves me just as much as she ever did. Also, things are finally better between me and Clara. We still fight a lot, but she's going to therapy too and is finally learning to accept me as her little sister.